provide emotional support and reassurance. And lastly, learn to use all equipment knowledgeably. And one of the things that you will learn in this video, as well as others, is how to use equipment in the proper manner. Now let's discuss some activities of daily living, or as healthcare professionals refer to them, ADLs. These include daily hygiene, grooming, eating and self-care activities necessary for us to normally function in society. Grooming begins at the top, and this includes clean and combed hair. Also, giving good eye care so that there is not um, debris in the eyes or in the nose. Dressing so that one feels presentable when they are meeting visitors coming into the home or they are going outside of the home. Feeding so that proper nutrition is assured. Hygiene, particularly after toileting. Elimination of the bowel and bladder. And mobility, both mobility in bed and mobility out of bed, into a chair, or into walking. There are also common comfort and adaptive devices that are available to assist in all of these ADLs or activities of daily living. Comfort devices when someone is in bed include something as simple as pillows, rolls of towels, in order to maintain proper body alignment, foot cradles to keep the blanket off the toes so that pressure is not exerted and bed sores do not form on the toes or the heels, rolls of towels placed along the side of the ankle so that the ankle does not turn outward and become painful, hand rolls to prevent contractures or shortening of the muscles and permanent formation of a fist. Bed cradles and footboards so that the foot may be exercised and foot drop does not occur. A sheepskin or other similar device placed on the bed to prevent decubiti or bed sores, which are discussed in another one of our videos. Heel or elbow protectors to provide protection against friction on the sheets. And special beds, which provide protection of pressure points and prevent skin breakdown. Some of these special beds have been discussed in other videos and include flotation pads, egg crate mattresses, water beds, alternating pressure mattresses, which alternate air between tubes in the mattress, and a clinitron bed, which is filled with silicone beads to prevent pressure from building up against the bony prominences. Remember, however, that pillows, an inexpensive, easily found adaptive device, is one of the best methods to position someone in bed or in a chair. We also have adaptive self-help devices that provide assistance during eating. These include cuffed or swiveled utensils to prevent spillage from the plate to the mouth, plate guards that one may push against when eating, plate holders or cup holders to prevent the cup or the plate from slipping out of the way of the person who is eating, and other adaptive utensils. And we will demonstrate some of those later in our presentation. There are also grooming aids to assist with hair brushing, brushing of the teeth, and cleaning of the body. These include long-handled 
combs and brushes. And one of the best devices which one can get for someone in the home is an electric toothbrush that allows the teeth to be thoroughly cleaned with a minimum amount of movement of the hand. There are also communication aids that can help someone interact with the outside world. These include boards such as those that are erasable, either a chalkboard or a whiteboard, so that someone can communicate in writing if they're unable to speak. A communication board should be tied to the chair if someone is up in the chair. It should be at the bedside. It should be on the table where they eat. It should be by the television where they may watch soap operas. And it should be in the bathroom. More than one can.